Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I am super excited to be bringing you a full rundown of the very best mineral sunscreens. I've got a little something for everyone in this video, so no matter what your budget, your skin type, or your skin tone, there's a mineral sunscreen out there for you. All the ones mentioned today are cruelty free. They're also tried, tested, and independently verified, so you're getting that locked in guaranteed protection. I thought it'd be a great time to film this video because there's been a lot of chatter online and a lot of um, articles in the mainstream media and uh, people doubting um, whether it's safe to continue to use chemical sunscreens. I did a recent video on this which I'll leave a link to up there if you want to check it out. I actually said I think it's perfectly fine to continue using chemical sunscreens but if you're all worried then why not look to a mineral alternative? So sit back, relax and let's talk all things mineral sunscreens. Now, before we cut the waffle and get straight into the recommendations that I know you guys are all here for, let's just talk very briefly about what mineral sunscreens are. They're so much easier to understand than their chemical counterparts because they're made of just two filters, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. These work in a very similar way to their chemical cousins in that they will absorb some of the UV light before it can do damage to our skin. They also have a secondary mechanism of action where they almost act like a shield and they'll repel and reflect some of that light off the skin before it can come into contact and cause any damage. The SPF rating on a mineral sunscreen is exactly the same as an SPF on a chemical sunscreen. They're um, tested in this exactly the same way, so you know that it carries across and you can get like-for-like -like protection. Sometimes people say these um, mineral sunscreens don't work particularly well on darker and deeper and richer skin tones. That's because the two filters mentioned earlier are white in pigment, and so they can give the product a white feel, leave a white cast on the skin, and almost like a lavender hue or tint to people who have very dark skin tones. This is has always been the case. However, there's so much new technology and these products have advanced so much. There are so many great mineral sunscreen alternatives that are great for people with darker skin tones. And I'm going to be making some recommendations later on, so stay tuned for that. This video took a lot of planning and a lot of research, so if you do want to do a guy a favour and you're enjoying the content, click on that like button below. But let's cut through that waffle and start with the two products which I use most in my day-to-day -day skincare routine. This is the Survival by Neod. Whilst I sometimes use chemical sunscreen, sometimes I use a mineral one, when I go for that mineral option, I usually reach for this. Neod do three different um, SPFs. They do an SPF 10, why bother? They do an SPF 20, which is the Survival 20, and an SPF 30, which is the Survival 30. This is actually the Survival 20 because they didn't have the um, Survival 30 in stock when I went to purchase it, but both work really well for my skin type. I'd say the Survival 20 is best for people with um, darker skin tones because you won't get any white cast or any um, hue to the skin after using it. The um, Survival 30 is great on people with lighter skin tones, but you might get some ashiness if you are darker skin toned. This is a Survival 20 and when you put it on, oh, it goes onto the skin. It's got a very light tint that's natural it's because some of the antioxidants that they use in the product do have a tint to them but it goes on transparent on the skin and so so matte i have never used a product that leaves my skin feeling this hydrated and yet this mattified normally by like midday the greasiness around the nose is starting to appear and on my forehead because i have quite naturally greasy skin this keeps me matte all day long it's packed full of antioxidants as well which work alongside the spf to double down on that protection that you get in your skin antioxidants act as little pack men when they see something that's like a pollutant a free radical that could damage our skin they encase it and stop it doing any damage I think it's super important to have an antioxidant in your routine alongside your SPF. And this is kind of like a two-in-one product. You see that's gone onto the skin. There's no um, tint to that and it goes on perfectly matte. I love this. Not the cheapest product out there, but you are getting that two-in-one antioxidant fix with your SPF and it just works so, so well with my skin. Because of the price point of that product, definitely, definitely just for the face only. If you're looking for a mineral sunscreen which will work on the face and body, I would reach for this. This is the Make Prem UV Defense Me Fluid. I love Make Prem. They're a fantastic Korean skincare brand. I love so many of their products. And this is one of the first I tried from them and I fell in love. This, actually, I couldn't find any independent testing and verification on this product, so I will call that out. However, I mentioned earlier that um, mineral sunscreens are just a bit more simple to understand. They often publish the percentages of the filters used. And because there's only those two filters, you can roughly work out in your head whether that percentage is going to give the protection that you're expecting from the product. Make Prem released their filter 
of percentages. So we're able to carry that across and I'm confident that this is offering a good level of protection for my skin. As a rough ballpark, I'd probably go for it between 17 and 25% in terms of the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide percentages within um, products. Whilst that isn't a hard and fast rule because formulation does matter and which of the two filters you're using does um, need to be taken into account. But those rough percentages will act as a guide, like a consumer friendly guide to the level of protection you're getting. I love this product. It smells divine. It's like summer in a bottle. Whilst that is actually a natural scent, there's no artificial fragrance. It does have some fragrance components in here. So if you have super sensitive skin, maybe this would be one to avoid. But for everyone else, it's so affordable. You get a lot of product in the bottle, so it's great for the body. And it just leaves you feeling hydrated and protected beautiful, beautiful product, and one that I definitely recommend. You guys have heard me talk about Ren on this channel quite a bit. I actually did a full review of Ren skincare, which I'll leave a link to that video up there if you want to explore the brand in a bit more detail. But Ren have their clean screen mineral sunscreen, which is an SPF of 30. The reason I want to call this out early on in the video is whilst it's not the cheapest product on the market, it works so, so well with people with darker and deeper skin tones. I know so many of my friends who um, are much darker in skin tone than myself that use this product and say it was one of the first that was really brought to the market that didn't leave that ashiness and that white cast on the skin. It's blended with some beautiful oil. So I'd say it's more on the dewy side than the really strict matte that you often get with mineral sunscreens. So it's nice for people that are suffering with some dryness in the skin. It has got artificial fragrance in there. I'm going to call that out. I don't think it's a problem. I don't mind fragrance in my skincare routine. But if you have super sensitive skin, you might want to give this one a miss. And there's some fragrance free options that I'll be coming on to later on in the video. The price point is a little bit up there but you do find a lot of mineral sunscreens are a little bit pricier. It's just because companies sell fewer of them than their chemical counterparts, so they have to have a higher unit value, which is a shame, but hopefully that'll change as people do get more on board with mineral sunscreens. I would totally recommend this if you have a darker skin tone and you're struggling to find one that will work for you and doesn't leave that ashiness on the skin. This is a really, really great option. Now, I'm going to recommend the Inkylist 100% Mineral Filters Sunscreen. This I've mentioned on the channel before. This is a tinted product, and so it's definitely, definitely applicable for people with skin that's like my tone or lighter. I wouldn't recommend anyone with a darker skin tone use this product because I don't think the tint would carry across very well. It would give an odd look to the complexion of the skin. This, however, is great. If you're looking for a product which has zero white cast on someone that's my skin tone or lighter, and it's packed full of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide to give you that protection. I like this product because it's unfragranced. So again, it's great for people with sensitive skin. It's got a nice blend of oils in here as well. So I'd say whilst it's not strictly matte, matte, matte in terms of something like the Neod product, it is a little bit on the dewy side, but some people do like that in terms of the finish that they get on their skin. This is great if you're looking for a tinted option, but I think for people that want to avoid tints or anyone with a darker skin tone than myself, this product isn't going to work for you. But it's drugstore. It's affordable. I love the Inculus. Fully cruelty free. I love their ethos and their brand. And I think for a very specific group of people, this could be a holy grail product. Now, I've mentioned that quite a lot of the products so far have either had fragrance or wouldn't be great for people with um, sensitive skin. But do not worry, I've got you covered. I said there'd be something for everyone. And if you have sensitive skin or want to avoid fragrance in your skincare routine, then you can reach for the Cooler Cucumber Mineral SPF. This is one of their newer products. I don't tend to reach for Cooler that often because I think some of their chemical sunscreens can be a little bit over fragranced and a little bit too tropical, even for someone like me who enjoys fragrance. This one, however, is fragrance free. It's packed full of aloe and cucumber extract, which are going to calm and soothe the skin. So if you have that built-in redness and sensitivity to your skin, this could really work. It's fragrance-free, as I said, and it hasn't got any artificial colorants in either. They've taken away a lot of the things that would traditionally cause sensitivity in our skin. So this could be a holy grail product for anyone suffering from skin sensitivity, or maybe wanted to minimize the amount, the risk of any sensitivity. Of course, Cooler doesn't come with the most affordable price point, but I do find with this product, you get a lot of product with all of the um, cooler sunscreens and so you need to see it in the context of the price versus the amount of product you're actually getting and I think that does justify this one a little bit more. Cooler fully cruelty free they have a great ethos behind them and they have released all of their testing for their sunscreens. They, um, I like that transparency and I like the fact that they'll release that so we can judge these things for ourselves. This is a really great brand and whilst I think a lot of their products are over fragrance this is a great option for people that want to go for fragrance free skincare. Now I'm going to shock 
shock a lot of people when I mention the next brand because I have kind of roasted them a little bit for their price point in the past. And that is Paula's Choice. I'll leave a link to a video I did explaining why maybe I'm not the biggest fangirl of Paula's Choice. However, I always say whether you like or dislike a brand, they always have their great holy grail, ding, 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 must have products and their wah, 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 total fails. And for Paula's Choice, I think one of their star performing products is their Resist Anti-Aging SPF 30. I love this because again, it's fragrance free. So for people wanting that fragrance free alternative, it can be really difficult to find in sunscreens, but Paula's Choice has you covered. This, um, they've released their filter quantity in all of them and their independent testing. So you know that what you're getting is the right level of protection. It's got so many gorgeous added ingredients in there, such as antioxidants, which I mentioned when I said Neod is super important, but it also has panthenol in there to calm and soothe the skin. And it's got some really nice oils in there that are gonna hydrate, but not clog the pores. I think this is one of those universal products that will genuinely work for almost all skin types. I haven't actually seen many reviews of this product on people with darker skin tones, so I can't really comment on how it would appear on skin that's darker than my own. However, it does have a slight tint to it, which is to offset some of the whiteness that you could get from the mineral filters involved. And so I probably would say this isn't going to be one that's going to work for darker skin tones, because that tint might appear a little bit off in terms of your own skin tone. So that's something to bear in mind. But for lighter skin tones, this could be a really great option, packed full of antioxidants, gorgeous, gorgeous calming and soothing um, elements to that as well. And it's fragrance free to boot. So ding, 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 holy grail for anyone that it applies for. Now, one product that will definitely work for people with darker skin tones is the On The Defense Shield by Eleven. Eleven is the brand by Venus Williams. I get totally confused because Venus Williams owns the brand, and yet a lot of the products are advertised by her sister, Serena Williams, but I did double check and it's definitely Venus Williams who is owning this brand and creating these products. Their SPF 30 has been applauded from day one as being proof that whilst traditionally we always thought mineral sunscreens wouldn't work for people with darker skin tones, if you formulate them correctly, absolutely they can. This product is guaranteed to leave zero white cast, zero ashiness, and none of that lavender hue that sometimes appears on the skin when um, people with darker skin tones do reach for mineral sunscreens. This gets all the hype, and I think it's totally, totally deserved. The price point seems really fair for what you're getting. It's got some shea butter in there, and it's blended with some really nice oils as well, so it's great for people with slightly drier skin types as well. And because it's designed with that sport in mind, you know, the two sisters are very sporty. It says that, you know, when you've ever used a um, sunscreen, and after you've, you know, sweat a little bit, you get that white marks dribbling down the skin, that won't happen with this product. So that's a fantastic thing if you're looking for a sunscreen to use alongside outdoor sports. This could be the one for you. Whilst obviously I say it's great for people with darker skin tones, absolutely anybody can use it. This is a universal product that will work well with anyone's skin type and tone. I just think that's so, so amazing to find in sunscreen, which can be really, usually is more niche and more specific to a certain skin tone or type. Full, full, full ding, 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 ding when it comes to Venus Williams creating this product. And I think it's a really great new addition to the sunscreen market. Right, guys, we're nearly there. We are in the home straight, but I've got a couple of honorable mentions that I do want to call out. First of all, Badger Sunscreens. Their Badger Sport is one of my absolute favorite favorite mineral sunscreens. The reason I'm calling this out is because it's an SPF of 50. Most of the ones I've mentioned today have been an SPF of 30 or 35. That's because it's easier to formulate in a mineral formulation an SPF of 30 without having that white cast than it is an SPF of 50, which almost guarantees there's gonna be some hue to the skin or some white cast, just because of the nature of the filters used. The Badger Spot is the best SPF 50 out there in a mineral formulation. Yes, it does leave a white cast. Yes, it does leave a little bit of a tint to the skin but if you're outdoors you want that protection while you're doing your sport and you want it in an SPF of 50 this is the one that I would reach for. For a similar reason I'm going to call out the ordinary sunscreens. Now I've roasted them in the past for leaving that white cast having the ashiness to the skin and not been the easiest products to work into our skin however they are so affordable and so drugstore and so what I'm saying is if you're on a budget and have a very fixed price point but you want to have a mineral sunscreen that's giving you guaranteed protection reach for the ordinary sunscreen sunscreen. Yes, you will have to tolerate that little bit of white cast on the skin and a bit of ashiness and you have to work the product in quite vigorously to get it into the skin. However, it's giving you that guaranteed locked in protection and for people on a budget, it is a really great option, which is why I want to call it out in this video today.
Finally, I want to call out the HelioCare 360 degrees tolerance fluid. I haven't actually tried this product yet. I've got one on order and I can't wait for it to arrive. But so many of you guys in the comments um, of any of my sunscreen videos have been shouting about this and saying how amazing a product is and how everyone should try it. It's great if you've got sensitive skin, it's got minimal ingredients in there and loads of people seem to be enjoying it. So I want to call it out because obviously I do really value all your recommendations and please leave any new ones that you have um, in the comments below. However, I haven't personally got my hands on it and been able to try it yet but hopefully that'll change and I'll incorporate it into a review in the future but so many of you guys love it so it's definitely definitely worth a shout out so you have it guys a rundown of the very best mineral sunscreens those mineral sunscreen favorites that you might want to consider incorporating in your skincare routine I've tried my best to be as inclusive as possible when it comes to budget skin type and skin tone but call out below any other products that you want to recommend to people and how it's worked on your skin I would totally, totally recommend you check out any of these products if you're looking to move away from a chemical sunscreen towards a mineral one. But I want to just re-emphasize the point that I don't think there's anything wrong with using a mineral sunscreen. And I called that out in the video that I linked earlier. I continue to use both because they both work really well for my skin. Um, and I kind of mix it up depending on what I want on the day. But there you have it, guys. The best mineral sunscreens. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.